My parents are what I would like to call evangelists. I was just really blessed. I had parents that were sanctified, that loved the Lord. They taught me Jesus. They introduced me to Jesus is the best way I know how to say it. I was 11 years old when I first felt the call of the Lord. We had gone to Greensboro's Feast Meeting. You know, I wasn't really paying much attention. And it's so funny, the things that you remember. They had started one of our songs, Go Wash in That Beautiful Stream, and it caught my attention. I felt the spirit from the bench, and I wanted that. I wanted to be a part of it. I wanted it in my life. I didn't go to the altar right then. I was 11 years old, and I was terrified. From June to August, I was under conviction. And I was fighting it, stuffing the feeling down. And so we went to camp meeting that year and I was in the benches. I, it was probably, I think it was a young folks service. And I just started crying. And so I broke and I went to the altar and they had to start church over for me. But our folks don't mind that. They were so happy to have someone at the altar. It was the defining moment of my life. I got converted and then I came back the next night and I got sanctified. When you get converted, it's when you go to the altar and you ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins, right? And so that takes care of your past. But then when you get sanctified, it's when you come back to the Lord and you ask for His Holy Spirit to come into your heart. And that takes care of your future. When you have God dwelling in your heart, it keeps you from sin. It's funny, you know, I when you say you go to the altar at 11 years old, it's not like I had a ton of sin in my life, right? And so it's not a dramatic story in the sense of, you know, I had gone out and I was an alcoholic or something, but it was dramatic to me. It changed my life and I got the opportunity to build my life on Jesus. So who I became was all because of the Lord. My life has been tested in a lot of different ways. I had my daughter five years ago and I, went through a pretty heavy bout of postpartum depression, and that lasted for about four years. And I would not have been able to get through that if it wasn't for God and if it wasn't for our church. Just being able to go to church and be fed, having those people in your life that you can talk to and that you can lean on. My husband, I wouldn't have been able to get through any of it without him. You know, you lean on the Lord in those kind of times. You go to His Word, you sing the songs, you go to church and you just kind of absorb all of it, and it's what kind of gets you through one day at a time. But the thing that I love the most about our church is that we're not just a church, we're a family. It wasn't just my parents that were teaching me about God, it was these other people that were my Sunday school teachers or that were testifying or that I saw them go to the altar and saw their lives change. And without that support system, I don't know how I would get through day by day. I'm grateful for everything. God gave me His Spirit. He gave me my husband. He gave me my children. He gave me my family. I didn't do anything to deserve it. Any blessings that I have in my life are because of Jesus. I wouldn't be who I am without Jesus. I wouldn't have what I have without the Lord. And uh, I don't want to know. I don't want to know who I would be without Jesus. I don't want to know. I don't want to find out.